So tell us a little bit about Beehive Coffee Bar and how it got started. Well, the Beehive Coffee Bar started, it was originally going to be a little Airstream trailer. I wanted to do like an actual traveling coffee shop. Do I look in there or you? Doesn't okay. matter. <laughs> um, and then when I decided to do it actually uh, a brick and mortar, um, I came to South Asheville because one, there's nothing like it down here. And I wanted to have a place that people could come and be themselves and hang out and find friends and you know meet new people it's kind of like cheers that's what we decided the other day is it's like cheers that's a great concept <laughs> right well i know and we were kind of deciding who the regulars were like which person was which character <laughs> that's yeah. good who's normal all of our regulars <laughs> yeah it's awesome well we carry dynamite because they're just they're amazing amazing men and they're just such a great roaster um so we have the dynamite our drips are dynamite and our espresso is dynamite um, we decided to kind of step out of the box a little bit with our decaf. Um, so we actually carry a American-made decaf from Hawaii. Um, it's amazing. Um, our teas are from Two Leaves. Um, you know, for it's an amazing tea for for you know those tea fans. <laughs> <laughs> we love tea. We all love tea. We make great London fogs. We have a really, really, really awesome frappe that we actually make from scratch. So it's used with real vanilla ice cream and a lot of people who make frappes usually do mixes or creamers or uh, something like that. But all of ours comes from scratch so we have a huge frappe following because huh. they're just awesome. Huh, I need to try one of those. Oh definitely. my god, they're so good. <laughs> it, I mean, you, it's, it's like a milkshake. It's like a coffee milkshake. Mm -hmm. You can't really go wrong with that at all. We have a chai frappe too that's really great. So it's chai with ice cream. Hmm. So all of our desserts come from actually five different bakers. Um, we obviously don't bake here because there's not any room for a commercial kitchen. But um, the five different bakeries we use are all mostly private bakeries. Some of them are well known around town like Bake Hampton. They have a lot of their stuff over at um, Green Life and maybe Earth Fair. I'm not sure what the other locations are. but. Um, uh, we have a baklava, a woman who makes our baklava, and it's an amazing baklava, probably one of the best baklava I've ever had. She uses rose, rose water, which I've never had before, but, hmm. oh, it's good. Um, but yeah, all of our baked goods, usually we try to switch it up every week. Um, some, some items we keep pretty consistent. We do have a lot of, um, vegan muffins. Um, not a lot, I should say. We have a couple vegan muffins, some vegan cookies and some of these awesome vegan granola bars mm -hmm. that we sell. Um, we do have one gluten-free item. I'm looking at trying to bring other ones on, but gluten-free is kind of one of those where it's touch and go. Mm -hmm. Some bakeries can do it really good and some people can. So yeah, um, we have cupcakes, uh, we, get, we have bagels and cream cheese, we have mini quiches for people who want more of like a food item. So we also have um, local honey um, from from a gentleman, it's beeping, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, we have local honey from a gentleman up here who has um, a beehive, and he literally goes from the beehive to the jar to here. So it's super local, no in-between people, and our honey lattes, which is our signature drink, um, is made from that honey, and it's phenomenal. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, so you're located out here in South Asheville, and I actually drive here. I skip Bil Biltmore Village and come out here for my coffee. Uh, tell us, can you tell some people how to get here? Well, you go south on Sweeten Creek um, until you hit 12 Bones, which most people know where 12 Bones is on Sweeten Creek. And we're probably about a quarter of a mile down the road on the left-hand side. It's called Royal Pines Plaza. Um, if you see Rocky's Chicken Shack across the street, then well, if you go past Rocky's, you've passed us. So we're immediately on the left-hand side when you see when Rocky's Chicken Shack sign comes on, like, end mm -hmm. to view. Yeah. Well, um, they can call us. Uh, the phone number is 676-3188. Um, they can look us up on Facebook. We have a Facebook page with the Beehive Coffee Bar on Facebook. Uh, there is one in Pittsburgh, so make sure that you're going to the correct one, which is in <laughs> Asheville. Um, there is also, uh, we have Instagram account, which is the Beehive Coffee Bar. So, or you could just come in. Just look for look for the Beehive Coffee Bar sign. We have a Beehive. Um, we don't have a sign sign up on the front of our building. It's kind of a uh, one of our customers' wives made us an awesome um, material sign. So you can look for that too. And what's the address here? Oh, uh, three seven three two Sweeten Creek. Great. Thank you. Yes.